One of my favorite traditions of the holiday season is sending and receiving uh, Christmas cards. And um, I actually have a love affair with all greeting cards. Uh, I would say that a quarter of my dresser is just full of cards. Um, and I needed an easy and quick way to store them all. So a few years ago I shared a bit of a more uh, intense version of making this holiday card album. And so today this is an easier one for you. So this project is held together by the fantastic Happy Planner Discs. If you don't know what the Happy Planner is, um, it's, it's basically a, an entire planner system that is fantastic, which I actually use myself. And it's really cool because they have this awesome punch that lets you use any cardstock or paper to make your own pages and inserts. And it's all held together by these uniquely shaped discs. And you'll see how this works. So I'm holding these card, this little card album together with these discs as well. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. So we've got our Happy Planner Punch. We've got, I've got my Mink Machine, which I'm using as a laminator for this project. I've got some pretty cardstock that looks nice with my family's Christmas card. Um, I've got two Christmas cards because I'm gonna use one for the front and one for the back. Um, I mean, if you have a design on the back, then you'll want to do that, but if you didn't put a design on the back of your card, then maybe it's not as important. I've also got all of my cards for the year that I received. Uh, a uh, paper trimmer and a ruler and these two punches. This is a corner rounder and this is a hole punch. The corner rounder is optional. I've also got some really pretty half inch uh, faux silk ribbon. It's just this nice cotton ribbon that I got from Amazon. If you don't have a laminator, you can also use something like this. The um, self-seal laminator sheets. Uh, this is great and will do the exact same thing. And then here are my laminator pouches I just got from Amazon. Okay. So the first step is to figure out what is your biggest Christmas card for the year. So for me, this is definitely the tallest, but I would say that this one looks like it's gonna be the biggest. So I'm gonna trace I'm gonna leave about an inch on either side of this Christmas card. Um, and I'm gonna trim that down, so about an inch off of each edge here. So I'm gonna trim this down to size. This just makes sure that uh, every card will fit then because you did it from the largest card that you have. And you can do it smaller if you want to, obviously, but I wanted to put a little uh, bow on mine, so I left a little bit extra room. And then now to make this one the same, I'm just gonna do the same thing real quick here. Add a little mark and do a little trim. I'm so excited that I came up with this idea because every year I get my Christmas cards and I put them away in my Christmas stuff and I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna make a beautifully scrapbooked Christmas card album, kind of like that very first one that I got published years ago on Creating Keepsakes. And it's like so daunting to me coming up with a scrapbook layout and blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, okay, then you've got your card, but then your card's on the inside. And then I realized, oh my God, no, just use your card on the front, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so then this is gonna be the back side. Front and back album cover, super easy, no need to embellish beyond here unless you want to. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled with how mine came out, how all of mine came out. I love them and I can't wait to show my girls. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just throw a tiny bit of glue on here just to give it a quick hold exactly where I want it uh, before I put it into the laminator. Uh, I guess you could also like throw some glitter on here in the laminating sheets if you wanted to. It's up to you. These cards are for minted. I absolutely love Minted because they source all their designs from an independent community of artists. So 
So it's not like one big factory that's making all the designs. It's a bunch of awesome individual people that like win their designs into being. Okay, front and back. Now I'm going to put them inside of the laminating sheets. And I can already see, I think there's like a little piece of something in this one. You wanna make sure, oh, that's on the outside. You wanna make sure there's nothing uh, inside the sheet, no speck, no dust, because it will be saved forever. Okay, there's one. And here will be the second one. I'm gonna get my mink turned on here and we'll get them loaded. So now my front and back covers have been laminated and are ready to go. I'm going to trim them down. You don't want to trim too close. I'm going to actually line up my cardstock with this outer edge of the paper trimmer because um, you want to leave a little bit of that seal from the laminator. I'm just going to trim these down and get them ready for our next step, which is the hole punch. Okay, so the Happy Planner hole punch has um, these little lines here that tell you where uh, the center is. And for this, you know, it's not super important, so I just kind of uh, eyeball it. Now, this is not gonna be easy. This is gonna be a bit of a cut to do. And there is that unique little hole that ends up fitting these discs like perfectly. It's absolutely genius. I love it. Okay, so we've got the front cover. Now to make sure that the back cover is on the right side, you're going to want to do it with the blank side facing up. Again, just kind of eyeball do your best and oof, that's a hard punch okay now we're ready to go with the cover so next up is all the Christmas cards and yes you have to punch all of the cards and it's gonna take a while um, some of your friends cards are gonna be very nice and easy to do and you can stick them in here punch them and it's great right and don't worry if you get a little bit of a tiny bit of a punch that's gonna line up with one of those discs and it'll be perfect. So you could have this one that's thin and easy to do. This one's pretty thin, but when you do, especially if you do this for um, your wedding cards or your baby shower cards, this uh, card, for instance, is it's way too thick to fit into the punch. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm actually gonna cut this little spine out as well. So you're gonna come across these cards that are just way too thick to punch. And so now, I'm just gonna line that up as best I can. Ooh, that one's still thick, Sing being, even though it's just single. And then put it in again and punch. And now I'm just gonna keep these two pieces together in my album. Um, I've got another great example of this here in my baby shower uh, book that I made and my friend look at idiot I left that on stupid okay my friend made me this beautiful mermaid card right and it had all these rhinestones and it was very thick so I cut it in half but it was still there was no way I was going to be able to punch this so I actually glued um, the inside and the back together so I can see her message and I can still see this beautiful card that she made for me and um, So there's different ways that you might have to do that most of them I just the majority of the baby shower cards I had to cut just like I cut that last one cut that spine out because it just would not uh, punch and the last thing I want to do 
is hurt my happy planner punch. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna punch all of these cards. Yay, all the punching is done. All right, so now I'm going to, and you don't have to do this, this is just, this is me and my weird uh, OCD. I am going to arrange these from biggest to smallest. All right, so now it comes to assembling our album here. So I'm gonna stick each of these little discs in and the first couple pieces the first couple cards you put in it's it's kind of wonky and weird but then it starts to gain some structure and feels much better so okay so I'm gonna just turn these over because this is my largest card put it in there that back side because I had to cut this part of that back side is messing with me. All right. Then you just thread each one on here. And the great thing about this is it's not like a, a really difficult um, uh, thing to put in or take in or out. So let's say you wanted to, let's say someone made you a card that was like a lot longer to read and you wanted to read it, you can easily take the card out, even just with everything else being attached. You can take that card out, read it, put it back. Um, the great thing about this is let's say you're like cleaning up all your stuff. Okay, perfect example. See how it, it wasn't a full punch, but now it's just resting perfectly in the spot that it needs to be. So, uh, so yeah, let's say that you're doing your cleaning up, uh, you know, after in January or whatever, February, later, who knows, and you find that a card fell back behind your refrigerator or wherever, you can always just punch it and add it to its year. Um, these are also very, very quick and easy to make. So if you have a couple years of state stored up cards, you can, um, you know, punch them and add them in and make make that year's album very quickly. There's no, um, it's, not a, it's not a daunting task, or at least how I felt about uh, making my other album. Uh, you can do this with any kind of card. Let's say, I'm, I'm gonna plan this for this year. All of our family's birthday cards from the entire year, uh, I'm gonna save them all in one Ziploc baggie, and at the end of the year, I'm gonna put them all in one, um, one album. And now it's time to put the cover on. Do it just the same way. And then we'll do the last and final step, which is adding the little bow on the corner. Okay, so here's our little album. I love it, it's fantastic, very quick, very easy. It's what this Mama 3 needs right now. Okay, so I've got my heavy duty hole punch right here. If you don't have a heavy duty hole punch, you might, like this crocodile, you might uh, need to do this in two steps. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna do a little hole punch there. And then I've got 20 inches of ribbon to insert into this hole. And we're gonna stick it in there and tie a quick little bow and then we'll be done. And just so you know, if you have any questions about this project, you can come back to the blog to ask the question. That's the best place to ask the question. If you ask it here on YouTube, it's gonna take us a little bit longer to answer. Anyway, there we go. And that's how you make the Happy Planner Edition uh, Christmas card holder.